I am attempting to bot 1 billion GP from scratch on one single account and this is episode 2. To give you a quick recap, in episode 1 we worked our way up to a bond by doing some random free to play money makers like looting, you chopping and telegrabbing wines of Zamorak. Once we jumped into pay to play worlds, I started off by doing some winter tod and things like chaos druids, elder chaos druids, undead druids and we even got ourselves a pet while training agility. For this episode we started off by doing some more Elder Chaos Druids, we had some decent luck last time so hopefully that will happen again. We are currently 37 minutes in into botting and we reached 80 strength on the account and after 3 more hours we got our first unique and made 1 million GP profit. We got an Elder Chaos Rob and this is currently our bank, we have about 2 million GP so far, but the good news is that we have 9 days left of membership, so plenty of time to make more. I sold everything to the GE now and finished botting the Sisla quest with the Stealth Quester and started botting Agility because I want to complete the Graceful set soon. And as you can see we reached 61 agility and got 41 marks of grace in total and I have spent 35 of them on the Graceful Hood. I am going to train some thieving now, I plan to do some master farmers later on, but I also want to complete the underground pass quest and unlock the Ivan staff. For underground pass I need to complete the biohazard quest and get 25 range. Thieving has been achieved earlier and I also got a Reynard seed from pickpotting master farmers. To train range I plan to use a cannon so I am finishing the dwarf cannon quest now, which also got me to 10 crafting. I tried to get my first wilderness task, but apparently I have to get a task from Turael in Barthope and he gave me 26 spiders. I just spent like 1 million GP on a cannon and some cannonballs and I'm gonna cannon these spiders in the barrack sewers using the perfect fighter script. Levels are extremely fast here. Once the task was finished I tried wilderness slayer once again and got 91 lesser demons and I'm using the perfect fighter script again is probably one of the best fighters on SDN and I finally reached 25 range so I started botting the biohazard quest which gave me 3 quest points. Now we are doing the underground pass from what you can see, we are 1 hour in and it's obviously taking us way longer than it should since we have to range these demons with an oak short bow. The quest is finally finished and we finally unlock the Ivan staff now. It will be extremely useful for money makers like Barrows or Crazy Archaeologists. I sold some of my stuff from the bank and bought some prayer bonus armor from the Grand Exchange and started botting Crazy Archaeologists. These drop some words which are pretty valuable but also onyx ball tips so this can definitely be a very good money maker. The script has just been released in the bot manager elite and I highly suggest checking it out. The ban rates are non-existent and I already have accounts in top high scores and it's not just me. Our customers who use it have achieved mad results. I mean look at this guy. He is running the script for 75 hours straight. With the bot manager elite you will also get access to other low battery scripts like Elder Chaos Druids, Undead Druids, Sorcerer's Garden, Master Farmer and much more. Make sure to check us out with the link in the video description if you want to give us a try. I just hit 58 magic and so far I did not receive any good loots, we are averaging about 100k per hour with the breaks that I'm taking. Ok guys so it seems like we finally got the loot, I let the script run for more and I got the malediction shard too and I put it for sale in the grand exchange and just to prove that the loot is legitimate I got the collection lock from the Varak museum guide and you can see here the malediction shard. So I just got my first Onyx drop tips, pretty nice, that boosted our profits to almost 600k per hour. Hopefully more of these drops will come. I just hit 72 magic and the script now started selling some of the loots made and we are sitting now at 800k cash from a few hours of botting the crazy archaeologist. We just hit a new milestone on the account, a 100 kill count and I got more Onyx ball tips. I took a break from crazy archaeologist and completed the druidic ritual quest and bought a 10 herb lore with our account building script and completed the priest in peril quest as well. I plan to unlock the fossil island now and do bird houses for money making and I'm working on the kudos now. I also finished the grand tree which put me at 61 attack and these are the stats so far on the account. Hazel Coat is also completed, I should have bought this quest earlier to skip training at cake stalls 
And now I also finished the Merlin's Crystal. To get more kudos, I'm using this kudos script and it completed the Varak Museum quiz, which gave me 9 Hunter and 24 Slayer. I am back at botting the crazy archaeologist and got more onyx ball tips and then completed the dig side quest which put me at 33 mining and 17 hair blur. I am using the kudos script once again to clean some finds and I am very close to getting 100 kudos. Demon Slayer is now also completed, followed by rune mysteries and now I finally have 100 kudos. Bon Voyage is finally over and I unlocked the mushroom teleports myself since the script does not support this at this moment. So now it's time for our first birdhouse run. I'm also gonna be crafting my own birdhouses to get some crafting XP as well and I ended up doing two birdhouses runs and got 11 hunter, 13 hunter, 14 hunter. Probably there's not much profit to be made at such low levels but once I get higher levels I will definitely make more. Plus I can try black chinchampas or red chinchampas too. Here is another round of birdhouses, I got more levels and I started training some cooking too because I want to unlock the raw cake and do some nightmare zone later on. I got 10 cooking doing shrimps and then I started the recipe for disaster the cook sub quest and I also finished the fishing contest quest and recipe for disaster saving the dwarf. I started training some crafting as well because all my skills are relatively pretty low and I definitely don't want to look like a bot at all, so I got a few crafting levels and did another boarhouse run which put me at 21 hunter. I plan to do runs like this on a daily basis. So as you can see I'm already at 221 crazy archaeology skills. I run this script for quite some time now and reach 66 magic as well but now I want to unlock other money making methods so it's time to train range and I want to do lower intensity activities after botting quests and the crazy archaeologists for such a long time so I'm doing some sand crabs using the fighting script on OS bot and I'll do some birdhouses runs in between. I ended up getting 44 range at sand crabs but now I did a few more hours of crazy archaeologist and ended up getting over 400 kill count and more uniques. I ended up getting a few more shards and a ton of onyx ball tips and of course my usual birdhouse run which put me at 25 hunter. I finally reached 50 range at sand crabs so I'm gonna work on the animal magnetism quest line to unlock the avas accumulator. The restless ghost is now completed, another birdhouse run is also completed and I'm 29 hunter now and I also did a ton more kills at the crazy archaeologist because the bond will expire soon so I need more money and since I'm 70 mage now I also upgraded to an occult necklace. I just finished the animal magnetism with stealth quester and I started killing some druids now with range. The profit per hour with only 50 range won't be the best for sure but at least I make some profit on the way. I bought it 99 range at the druids on multiple accounts here and a lot of pures to 90 range and made very successful gold farms with this creep. It even unlocks the fortress dungeon. I'm currently making about 120 to 140k profit per hour and I also hit 51 range. Ok guys, so I just let the script run here for one full day straight and I got 61 range and made some money on the way. We managed to make 1 million GP and this is the loot gathered so far. We just hit 31 hunter and 75 HP doing some more crazy archaeologists. We are already at 600 kill count and been running this script for 3 hours now. But I will end this video here with another birdhouse run. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. Remember to check out our website buddinghub.com for all your budding needs. See you in the next video.